Okay, here we are back again at EMS Today 2014 in Washington, D.C. And this is the uh, old school edition of our show updates. This is the EMS National EMS Museum booth. And this is a <clears throat> 1970 Miller Meteor Cadillac Ambulance uh, owned by uh, Steve Lickman uh, in Mount Airy, Maryland. Um, Steve owns nine classic restored high top ambulances like this. And this Cadillac is uh, is pretty cherry. It's <coughs> fully restored interior. It's got your uh, your driver mounted spotlight on it. Most everything on this on this rig is still original. And you see what the guys in the infancy of our profession used to work in. An old Ferno low mount uh, stretcher that you had to pick up and carry into the ambulance, two attendant seats, and a uh, hanging stretcher rack for a second patient. <laughs> we actually still use a version of the hanging stretcher rack uh, on our modern ambulances uh, at Acadian. But um, <clears throat> this was uh, this was your workplace when you worked in EMS in the 70s. They say these things, and I've ridden in them, uh, ride smoother than any modern ambulance today, but as you can see, it's pretty cramped. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of room to work, and I have, I have my doubts that uh, the kids I work with these days would, would uh, be, appreciate the cachet of working in an old ambulance like this. They complain about working in a, in a Sprinter van, much less something this small. But the rest of the show rest of the EMS Museum booth has some some pretty cool old stuff. Here's an old Motorola AppCore telemetry radio. If you want to call Rampart and, and uh, Dr. Brackett asks you to send him a strip, here's what you got. Um, an old Ambu resuscitator. Back in the day this is what a self-inflating Ambu bag looked like. <laughs> A oral pharyngeal airway made out of metal. Old fashioned, one of the original Laird All uh, electrical suction units, battery powered suction units. Here's a smaller old suction unit with a bulb syringe, kind of like an old Dealey, like an old Dealey suction trap. An old Datascope 850, an Ambu foot suction pump. You hook this to suction tubing and you stepped on this to provide the suction and there's your your collection canister in there <clears throat> and this is the ipco pantridge defibrillator named after the father of modern cpr frank pantridge this thing had your charge and discharge buttons you're on and off there was a an analog gauge to show you uh, how many joules were delivered and you took your uh, paddle off, put that on the uh, <coughs> on the apex, and the main unit on the sternum, and lit them up like a Christmas tree. And a little further down the line was my old friend, the Life Pack Five. I still own four of these that I occasionally use to teach ACLS classes, uh, and they still work. This was a a pretty awesome piece of machinery to have lasted as long as it has and still be functional. You could pop pop a pair of uh, LifePak batteries into this LifePak 5 and it would work. You could work a code with it even now as long as you didn't have to pace anyone. <coughs> and an old, some of you guys are not so old school that you don't remember these. This is a Dynamed ALS kit. I used to work with one of these on the rig. As a matter of fact, up until a, a couple of months ago, or up until last year, our extra equipment tray was the bottom of one of these that the Dynamed kit clamped down in the middle of it, and, or in the top of it, and the bottom carried extra supplies and IV fluids and that sort of thing. And there's a uh, kind of a partnership here between the National EMS Museum and uh, emsbooks.com and the Facebook page Dinosaurs of EMS. If you want to get your uh, Dinosaurs of EMS merchandise, uh, 
go to emsbooks.com and they're the, they're the fulfillment house for them now. So if you've been in EMS 20 or more years and uh, you remember some of these old, old things uh, from first-hand experience, you are probably an EMS dinosaur yourself. Cool.